Hey, welcome to day eight on the Mizuno Golf Bears Tour around the north of Scotland. And today we're at Boat of Garten. Lovely course, we were here last year. Can you look round behind me? My name's Smithy, I'm just going to be out in the course filming some of the players in action. I'll show you some of the scenery, some of the holes, and just generally show that it's a real fun day to come to Mizuno Golf Bears Day. So we'll go and crack on and see some of the people playing. And we just have a look out in the course. And some people are just teeing off at the first at the moment. Putting green, nobody's on it at the moment because it's just started to rain a wee bit. Some people practicing the driving net. Look around at the clubhouse. And when you come to register, it's just straight in the middle. Turn left and Scott's on the registration desk today. Ah, we just come to the first tee, the opener, 191 yards at Boat of Garten. Par 3, obviously. Ah, it's a straight down one. We'll get the golf pairs banners in. And some people just come down the fairway there to the green, but we'll catch the next group on the tee. Right, and first to play here, this is John. John's one of the Bridlington boys that we interviewed after the singles won at Hazel last year. Cracking bunch of guys. That's a nice hit. Has it got the legs to reach? Oh, it's on the green. I'm not saying any, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and next up, this is a Ricky Gervais lookalike from Bridlington. This is Dicky. Sticky Ricky. It's nearly Sticky Vicky, but it's Dicky Ricky. <laughs> you want to see what came out of him this morning? <laughs> And he's played some better shots than that before. And next up from Bridlington, this is Jim. Oh, there's a deer just running across there. Oh. And that's another one with Jeremy Corbyn looking for his ball way out left there. Ah, <laughs> uh, last day forward ball, this is Pete. Also from Bridlington. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh, well, two out of four aren't bad. So we're just following the guys down to the green, we'll catch them on the putting green. That's if two of them ever get there. And it's a Pete through the green. Oh, oh he's gone right through the green. And he wants me to pretend that was his first shot, but we won't. And there's Dicky, that two pints in the clubhouse doesn't seem to have helped. And a whiskey. But this is Pete further away than when his last shot started. There it goes, most people play the shot nearer to the pin, but not Pete, but that's a lovely putt, look at that. Good recovery from Pete there. It's John from just off the green. It's good effort, it was a bit strong. And there goes Dickie. Oh! And he'll tap that in and he'll use an abacus to count his shots. Yeah, nicely in from Dickie. And then Jim's just to the right hand side. I think that's a four for Jim. 
And it goes. And this is Joan for Pa. It's curling in, it's curling in. Oh, lovely pot from John there. And Pete's in after playing tennis across the green. <laughs> right, we'll just come out to the charity hole and we're doing a golf fairs event. This is the ninth hole at Boat of Garton, 150 yards. Down into a dip, then rising back up to the green. I'll we'll just get the banners in here. There's a variety club and the Mizuno Gazebo. And we'll hopefully catch up with the next set of players about to play. And that was Gordon. Gordon plays at Gullin. Fantastic set up there if you've not been there. And this is Graham. Graham plays at <laughs> Graham plays at Elgin. And we'd like to apologise for any industrial language you might well have picked up there. Uh, I don't think you liked that one. And Elgin's another smashing course, played there this year. And next to play us is Neil. Neil plays at Gullin. That's a nice shot. And we'll have a closer look at that when we get up to the green. And last he plays David at Dean Wood. That's a high one. Well, let's go up for a look at the green, see how the guys got on. And we're up at a nice green. A couple of the balls on the green. Two off the green. It's going to be Gordon to go first, just a few yards through the back of the green. Good. Let's keep him going. That's just come about four feet past. And this is Graham from the bank on the left hand side. Oh, that's a lovely shot up there. Uh, it's going to run about seven, eight feet past there. Uh, it's going to be Neil. Neil's on the green this for the birdie. And it looked as if it was going to be short, but you can see it keeps on rolling. About a foot past. A uh, straightforward par for Neil. Oh, there a lovely three there. That's a fantastic up and down from away down the side of the bank. There's Gordon for par, just pulled it a bit left. That'll be a four for Gordon. And here's the best tee shot from David. Five feet for the two. Oh, just shaves it an inch away. So that's an easy par for David. Okay, we're at the 16th hole and we're doing a golf pairs event. 170 yards. Down into a dip, and then up again. And let's get the next group of players about to play. And first to play us is Dougie, Kings Inverness. Oh boy, Doug. Oh, oh, that's a nice ball. Come on, Doug. Oh, I'm waking up. And it, 
on the dance floor from Dougie. And this is Hugh, King's Inverness as well. And that looks a nice hit as well. And I'm calling him Hugh, but in Scotland it's Shug. And Shuggy's on the green. And next to play, this is Big Jim. King's Inverness as well. <laughs> we'll look to see if it makes it up onto the green. Not quite sure if it's short, but we'll find out in a wee minute. And this is Gordy, last of the four from Kings in Inverness. There's another nice shot. Right, and we'll get down and see what the pots are like. And this is Gordy at the front. Gordy's got the putter out, but he's not giving it enough. Didn't quite run as far as... There's Jim at the front as well. The pitch from Jim. Is it going to run on? It's going to... Oh, it's about seven or eight feet away from Jim. And here's Hugh, or Shug, going for the birdie. Oh, it's about 25, 30 feet. There it goes. Here it goes. Oh, that's a, that's a nice putt there. That's only two, three inches away. So it's going to be a safe par for Hugh. And Dougie for the birdie. About 13, 14 feet. Oh, it's not enough juice there, so he's about a foot short. God, to get the putt in, and what's rolling past. That's a bit short from Jim. Just shaved the hole from Gordy. Easy pass for Dougie. And a pass for Hugh as well. Thanks very much guys, cheers. At the closing hole, the 18th at Mizuno Golf Pairs event here at Boat of Garden. It's a long par 4, 426 yards. And we're going to see the next set of players playing. And the first play, this is Ryan, and Ryan plays at Keith. And there's a beauty right down. Here's another player from Keith, this is James. Another nice one. Darren, also from Keith. A Pfeiffer, Kenny. Man, I think that ball had its own passport. Oh, that's James's shot out the bunker there. Just get a 
a look at it on the green. Oh, is it going to roll? He thinks it's going to sit there, but that's going down the hill. It's going down the hill. <laughs> bye bye. There it goes. <laughs> at least he's not chasing after it like somebody else last year. Okay, James back up the hill. Is that going to roll again? No, oh, it's held that time. His bum was nearly way back down to Perth there, look at it. This is Mark. That's not going to be up. Uh, about two or three feet short. We. And that's a squeaky bumper he's left on himself there. And Ryan playing downhill about 10 feet. And that's a very difficult one to try and stop the ball, but it's about two feet past. And here's Danny looking quizzingly at the flag. There it comes. Is it going to turn enough? Oh, good effort. And here's James back on the golf course again. Up the hill. Oh, oh one inch away. Just going to tap that one in. Uh, Mark's denying that this is a squeaky bump up. Oh. I'm seeing nothing. And there's Ryan, straight in, showing Mark just how it's done. <laughs> Ah, so boys just finishing there. Thanks, guys. Cheers. You yeah. enjoy it. Uh, hi, hi, Smash hi, it. Magic. Well, that's the end of the action today here at the lovely, quite lovely, Boto Garden Golf Course. I hope everybody's had a super day. Lots of appreciative comments about the golf course. I'd like to thank my playing partner David today. Quite a number of three pointers to get in with. And our playing partners, that was Lewis and Fergus. It's been a smashing day today. You get some people out, get the drinks. It's not sunny enough yet. And uh, tomorrow it's day nine of the North of Scotland tour, so we'll be at Spey Valley. See you tomorrow.